welcome to Kristen Kelly TV. So today I'm going to do a chit chat video. I'm gonna move this. This is a permaid. I signed up on Kickstarter and I paid like $30 to help like fund this. It took like eight months to get this stuffed animal, but isn't it cute? When the bell jingles though, the dogs start barking. Let's put that away. So yeah, just like a little chit chat. So first of all, I did not make it into the Viva Las Vegas pinup pageant. I didn't get enough votes. So thank you guys so much, everybody who voted for me. I really appreciate it. I was really sad, I'm not gonna lie. I I like really couldn't sleep last night, not because of the pageant, just like I couldn't sleep. So I couldn't sleep and then I woke up and everybody, because I'm on this like Facebook page and everybody was like, oh congratulations to like the top 12, congratulations, congratulations. So then I like went to my email and I sent an email to everybody like saying who the top or who the six were that got the most votes. So now there's 12 girls that are in the pageant because they're the judges picked five and then there was one contestant's choice and then uh, whoever out of like the girls that then they like they took the 200 girls and they made them to 80 girls and of those 80 girls the ones that got top six votes they got in the pageant and I wasn't one of them. So. That was just like weird, like waking up to kind of like, you know, bad news. I mean, it's bad news, but at the same time, it's not the end of the world, and I know I can compete again, but it was just, um, it was just kind of sad because it's like I woke up and then immediately looked at, and like immediately, you know, saw that. And it kind of like made my day, you know, kind of bad. And yeah, like I feel kind of depressed all day. And I mean, it's okay to feel depressed, you know, it's like, when sad things happen, like, you should feel sad, you know. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I like, and it's weird because this is my first time going to Viva Las Vegas. So, I wasn't really expecting much, but when I found out they were having a pageant, I was so excited because but beauty pageants have always been a huge part of my life. I competed at the age of 9 to the age of, like, 23 pretty much regularly. Like, I was in a pageant a weekend for, like, six years straight. Um, I love, love pageants, and I just, like, love the artistry of it, so I was really excited, um, about competing because I do have such, like, I have so much experience doing pageants, like, there's not many things I'm, like, I am great at, but I really am very good at doing pageants, so I was really excited to compete, um, but I did not, uh, I did not get in, so that sucks, and I did cry a little, which was unexpected because... I didn't think I would. I kind of was like saying to myself, oh, well, if I get in, that'd be so great. But if I don't get in, that's also great because I'm still going. And if I don't get in, then, you know, I can still, I'll still watch the pageant and like see how it all is. And then the following year, try again. But then when I saw that I wasn't in, I started crying, which I didn't expect to. It was like kind of like an emotion I, I didn't think I would have. I didn't think that I would be sad, but I was. And then I kind of, you know, I like talk to myself and I'm like, oh, it's okay. Everything's okay. Don't worry about it. Um, yeah, you know, it's like, it's not the end of the world. It's just a pageant. It's not a big deal. Um, I'm still really excited to go to Viva Las Vegas. If anybody's going to Viva Las Vegas, let me know in the comments because I'd love to like chat with you guys. And I did meet like a lot of incredible girls in this whole pageant experience because there's an online group. So I am really excited to meet new friends and it's gonna be in April, so I still have a little bit more time to get my abs all sexy and stuff because there's a bunch of pool parties. So I'm really excited for Viva Las Vegas. And what else? What else has been going on? Um, Oh, so yesterday, I talked about this on Snapchat, so yesterday Yuki choked on a treat, and I never give them treats when I'm not here, but she choked on a treat, it got lodged in her throat, I had to go into her throat and pull it out. Well, I know, I like went into her throat and I could feel it, and I tried to pull it out, but I couldn't, but then she threw it up as I was trying to pull it out, so she's fine, but like, thank God, because, you know, that's crazy. I actually know somebody and her dog died, like she had a little chihuahua and it choked, and she was like screaming and holding it and like it died in her hands. So I'm really blessed. I, I took a CPR class and I took a class that's similar to the Heimlich but for dogs. And I've also taken a course, it was an online course, I took a course on um, like dog rearing, like take like dog babysitting pretty much. 
so I know quite a bit and I've always had dogs so I have always been prepared for the situation but I've never had it happen I've never had a dog choke but it's so crazy because I always I'm so careful not to give them treats when I leave I always make sure I'm there when they have treats I'm always you know I always make sure they have water because a lot of treats have preservatives and they have salt in them so it makes them really dry so your dog will get you know could suffer from dehydration so I'm really like always so careful and to have this happen I was like oh my god so I'm really lucky that uh, everybody was fine that no that you know she was fine and everything was good I think what else has been going on um after buzz starts in two weeks it starts on Valentine's Day which I'm happy it's starting kind of sucks it's on Valentine's Day though because that's you know that's like a big date night so um, I kind of was like eh, about that uh, but I'm happy it's starting again this might be the final season that's what a lot of people are saying but I've heard that before so I'm just if it if it is or if it isn't I don't really know but I already started contacting the new girls about being on the show and yeah I'm also going to be interviewing them for my YouTube channel so that's really exciting I'm excited to try that because I know a lot of people have wanted it a lot of like the bad girl fans have wanted that oh I'm getting my hair done tomorrow yeah I'm getting my roots done thank god oh my god like I should have had my roots done like two to three weeks ago but I didn't make an appointment until too late my hairdresser was all booked up my mistake and new lesson now that I know I'm always gonna make sure I book like far in advance so I'm getting my hair done tomorrow I'm really excited about that oh my skin has like totally gone back to normal since the microderm or the micro needling so awesome very excited about that and I'll talk to you guys later bye